What's going on guys? My name is Kamikaze Keith and welcome back to a brand new Battlefield 1 video and today we are going to be talking about if the brand new update Battlefield 1 They Shall Not Pass is actually worth the $50 you've spent for premium on it. So let's go ahead and go over everything that has come with the Battlefield 1 They Shall Not Pass update. So here we are. We are on the Battlefield website right now, the official Battlefield website. So Obviously, the expansion pack and update includes the four new big, you know, multiplayer maps, which is Verdun Heights, we got Fort DeVox, and this third one, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but it, I, I want to say it's Soysens, but I know it's probably something totally different, but yes, we have that one, and the last one we got is Rupture. We also have two new big operations, which is Devil's Anvil and Beyond the Marne, or the Marne, I hope I'm saying that right. And, but yes, we also have the French Army comes into play here. We have one new elite class, which is going to be the Trench Raider. Um, he can heal himself, and he also has a melee weapon, which is a one-hit kill. After that, we have we have one new um, assault tank, which is actually pretty cool. Which is actually it's pretty big, and we also have another a brand new behemoth, the super-sized tank. This goes by the Char 2C. So you will be able to unlock that if you start losing the game, obviously, in big conquest matches. We also have six new unlockable primary weapons, which is definitely what everyone is going to be trying to go after for. You do not just unlock these just by doing nothing. You have to obviously do a challenge to get these weapons, whether it's like 50 kills with a certain medic weapon and get 50 revives or something like that. Something of on that nature, something like that. You will have to unlock it with yourself. You do not just get it for free. The next stuff we have, we have four new melee weapons. We also have one new game mode, which is the Frontlines game mode, which is actually a pretty cool game mode. That is what you are watching in this gameplay right now. I'm also playing on the Soysens map. I hope I'm saying that right. I know I'm probably not even close to it, but yes, we are playing on that map. Um, we also have a new type of skins in Battle Packs. Uh, we also have new melee puzzles in the battle packs as well and finally you can play as a party improvements which is the party leaders so and right under this it says note the battlefield one they shall not pass update is a required download for all battlefield one players this has several benefits including that players who don't yet own the expansion will be able to watch battlefield one they shall not map pass matches through spectator mode so that's pretty cool if you do not own it yet but you have it downloaded you can watch you know the game through spectator mode but yes that's pretty cool but yes that is everything that is come with the Battlefield 1 They Shall Not Pass update. Um, it, I guess it's mainly up to you if you want to get it yourselves. I personally think it's worth premium because you have to think it's not you're not paying 50 bucks just for this game mode. And just, I mean just for this update. You're paying for four other ones that are going to come out later within 2017. So yes, my opinion, I do think it's worth getting premium and stuff like that. You, that is up to you. Me, personally, I do think it is worth it. But yes, that is going to wrap up today's Battlefield 1 They Shall Not Pass video. If you guys did enjoy, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Peace out, guys.